What do peaches, poultry, and peanut butter have in common? They were all implicated in outbreaks involving a problematic pathogen called Salmonella. The challenge with Salmonella is that its ubiquity makes it difficult to control, and thus many food products are susceptible to contamination. This is especially challenging in food producing animals like turkeys, because Salmonella can be part of the normal bacterial population in their gastrointestinal tracts. Unlike peaches and peanut butter, Poultry is rarely consumed uncooked, right? But anyone who has seen Gordon Ramsay's shows is probably familiar with scenes where the famous chef has to remind professionals of the importance of proper food preparation and storage, occasionally with an added expletive for emphasis. And he's absolutely right. Preparation and handling of food products play an integral role in preventing foodborne illnesses. Although infections mm -hmm. with salmonella are often self-limiting in healthy individuals, hospitalization may be necessary for those with weakened immune systems. This is an even greater concern amidst a global pandemic. Rest assured, the USDA's FSIS has salmonella performance standards in place and producers have implemented interventions to meet these goals. However, as salmonella outbreaks continue to occur, finding additional safety measures is necessary to prevent foodborne illness and costly recalls. My research explores interventions that reduce salmonella in turkeys and their products. There are three main goals to this. The first is to characterize their direct effect on the pathogen. The second, to explore their potential applications in turkey production, either on the farm or the processing line. And the third, to determine their impact on the product. I'm exploring two interventions that are commonly found in stores probiotics, and phytobiotics, which are plant-derived extracts. Both are generally recognized as safe by the FDA. Specifically, I'm exploring the potential of turkey-derived lactobacillus strains and extracts from cinnamon and lemongrass against a multidrug-resistant outbreak strain of salmonella. The results collected so far have indicated that the combination of probiotics and phytobiotics could reduce salmonella colonization in the turkey sika. We also found that the phytobiotics were able to inhibit salmonella survival in ground turkey patties. Chef Ramsey's show reminds us that even professional chefs sometimes forget the importance of proper food handling and preparation. Since the average person does not have a fiery tempered chef constantly reminding them of the importance of properly cooked foods, some intervention must limit the presence of bad bacteria in the ingredients. The outcome of my study so far has indicated that these probiotics and phytobiotics could potentially be utilized to help keep salmonella out of our next Thanksgiving turkey.